Hello guys, this is the third video of our EdgeX topic. In this video, we will demonstrate the sensor data visualization on Grafana using MQTT protocol. So let's start the video. Here we will run four more containers for this demo. Starting with Mosquito Broker. It is the MQTT broker that acts as a middleman in the MQTT service. MQTT is a protocol service that works in a publish and subscribe manner. In my post, I have explained the MQTT concept with an e-commerce website example, hope you will get understand. Now the second container will be for the database. Here I am using the InfluxDB database to store the sensor data that will come from the subscriber container. We will see later about the subscriber. While running the InfluxDB container, set the port number, database name, username, and password. Now the third is Grafana. Grafana is the application that helps in visualizing the data, which comes from our Influx database in graphical and many other formats. Let's connect the InfluxDB with Grafana. Open your browser and write the VMIP address with port number 3000. Then log in with user admin and password as admin. After login, you can reset the password or skip. Now select to add the data sources and select the InfluxDB as the data source. Set the URL to http colon double slash, your influx DBIP address colon 8086 as the port. And the database name is sensor data, user is root, and password is tour. That we are configured while running the influx DB container. Now save and test the database connection. Now the fourth is Messenger. Download it from the given link to your setup. Basically, this subscriber folder contains three files a Python script, a Docker file, and a requirement.txt file. The app.py file is the Python script written to act as a subscriber that collect the sensor data from Mosquito Broker and send it to the Influx database. In that script, we modify the IP address and topic name as per our need. Then save it. Using the Docker file and requirement.txt file, we will make this script to a Docker image that can be run inside a container. So let's run this command inside the subscriber folder. It will use the docker file and requirement file present in the same directory to create a docker image named subscriber for the Python script. Then run the image to start the script. You can check all running containers using the docker ps command. Now let's add the MQTT service inside the edgex foundry. You can copy all the app service MQTT configuration and paste it inside the docker compose.yml file. Or you can download it from the post and use it. Replace the MQTT broker IP with the VM IP where the Mosquito is installed. In my case it is the same machine. And replace the topic name with the unique topic that you have given in the Python script of subscriber docker image. Then save it and restart the edgex service with docker compose up minus d command and wait to start the edgex service. Now MQTT and database are ready to receive sensor data, but we still need to configure the Grafana after this step. So we can connect our sensor and send the data to edgex foundry. Here I am using the same process used in my previous video. Let's run the Python script. Then configure the Grafana panel to visualize these data. Click to add a new panel. Keep select measurement as temp humidity sensor data. Select the field as temperature. And remove the mean and add the distinct method for temperature value. Set the panel title and apply the changes. Do the same for humidity data. and see the sensor data in graphical format. If you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching it.